Applications of differentiation. In this video, we are going to continue with connected rates of change. You will find this on page 282 in the Namibia A is level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and then we're going to look at this example. This is a bit a more challenging example. This is the way you can also find it in an examination. Okay. The point P, X, Y is moving along the curve. This is the function of the curve. In such a way that the change in Y is constant. Find the values of X at, this, uh, at the points at which the rate of change of X is equal. And this is very important. X is equal to half the rate of change of Y. Okay, now let's start with our first formula. So Y equals the rate of res with respect to X. Now we're first going to differentiate this. So dy by dx, it's 2x, and if I multiply 3 over 2 by 10 over 3, I will get 5. If I subtract 1, I will get a half plus 5. Okay, now this is is a challenging statement. I'm going to show you that you could have first stated like this and then it's actually becoming this. Because find the values of x at which the points at which the rate of change of x okay so dx the rate of change of x and, and you have oh, it's just, just uh, rate of change of x the rate of change of y Okay, now let's see, J uh, of x is equal to half the rate of change of y. So that is the statement as they say it there. Now, in order to just get the 2 in the numerator, I can just go and I can say I multiply 2 over 1, multiply 2 over 1. So then I'm, I'm sitting with... Let me throw the take it. 2 dx over dt. And what happens to this 2? They cancel. Equals dy over dt. And this is the statement there. Okay. So I think if you put bring in this extra step first, it will make more sense this step. Okay. But now, don't forget, you are looking for dy over dx. So... If I want, if, if I have dx, okay, so dy, I have my dy, I can take to get, I want actually to cancel the t's. But to cancel the t's, first just go, let me just indicate it here. And basically, I'm just going to first get it on one side. I divide dx over dt, divide D x over dt. Okay, so cancel. So if I divide that, then I'm actually multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, and if I then multiply, this is exactly what I want. I want to end up with something which is exactly the statement as there, dy over dx. And now I can equate the statements because this is or solve it simultaneously, but basically, in the place of this dy dx, I can just substitute 2. Okay, and then I just solve it, take it over to one side. Okay, just remember there's a 1, so I can factorize this. This is a trinomial, and I'm just going to say my factors will be 3 and 1, and 2 and 1, and it's, it's positive, so 3 plus 2, and the signs will be negative, negative, oh, sorry. And then it's x, x, and then this. And then I just solve this, I multiply there, this is just indices, 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1, 2 over 1. And then this will give me 9 over 4, and this will give me 1. Okay. It's a bit more complicated, but it's not so difficult. Let's, I want you to stop the video because this two questions differs a little bit from this one. This was a very unique one. I want you to do both. 
do one and then you can continue the video check and do the other one stop again and continue again something like that okay so I want you basically to do number one as well as number two okay a curve has the equation now what is the equation of the curve it's going to be y and it's out going to be 12 over and again, don't let the differentiation makes it difficult. You're going to follow the chain rule. A point moves along this curve. As the point passes, let's just mark the in, important information. So this is my function. As the point, as the point passes through A, the x coordinate is increasing. Okay, take note, it's the x coordinate. Okay, per second. And the y coordinate y coordinate is increasing per second okay and then you're going to find it there i gave you a hint also okay but again it's it's first working on two sides and the first one okay let's first before i cut to the other side i'm going to differentiate here and maybe i can just get it ready to differentiate So it's going to be dy by dx. Okay, first uh, it's the chain rule, so do the outside. So it's minus 12. Subtract 1, so it's minus 2. Don't forget to multiply, differentiating the inside. And that will give me an answer of 24. Okay. That is my differentiator. Now, I start with the other side. Okay. The x coordinate is increasing, so then it's dx over dt. So, oh, sorry. dx over dt. So, it's increasing with time. Increasing, so it's positive 0, 0,15. And then... Uh, the y coordinate is increasing, so dy by dt is increasing at 0 0.4. Okay, and now I again I want to find an expression. So if I want to find an expression, I'm going to again take this one, and there I gave you the hint. So if I take because I want to cancel the dt, so it's actually going to be dx dt divided by uh, dy by dt because that will give you dx dt multiply dt dy and that will then cancel. So basically, let's just focus here, let's take it as it is, so it's 0, comma, one five and I'm basically just going to divide it by zero comma four. Okay, let's just see if I was putting the correct one on top. Um, zero comma one five. Um, because if I reflect back, it's going to it must give me dy. Okay, can I just correct myself? If my space is so small, then I, okay, I'm going to correct this because now the x is going to be on top. Okay. Keep to this statement and then just go and say, if I want to find, I think it's better if you write it and I'm going to use another color. So if you want to find dy by dx, that's what I want to find. Then I'm going to start with this one. It's going to be dy by dt, and I think if I can give myself a little bit more space, it will also be better. Okay, and I divide by dx over, and I don't have to do it, because as soon as I'm going to divide, then this is going to swap around and it cancel and I'm ending, so that I don't get confused. So I, I'm going to basically say 0 0.4, okay, Divide 0 0.15. 
And if you press that on the calculator, it's my calculator. Now. I think it's best if you press that because you want to get the fraction. So 0 0.4 divide 0 0.15 and shift ABC. I like to do. Then it's giving you 8 over 3. You don't sit with decimals. Okay. Okay. And now, basically, again, can you see dy by dx, dy by dx. So it's almost like I solve them simultaneously. And I'm just going to say, okay, um, doesn't matter which one you put first. Let's put this one. Get this pen correct. Come, come. Okay, and then you're just going to solve this. You can just cross multiply, so it's going to be um, 8, 3 minus 2x squared is equal to 24 times 3. And that is going to give me, if we simplify that now, 3 minus 2x squared is equal to 2. Okay, that's 72. And if I divide by 8, divide by 8, then I will just get 9. Okay, I can just finish off. Then I'm just multiplying this out. So I will get 9, square this one, multiply the 2 multi um, with each other, multiply 2. So it's negative 12x. Plus minus 9 is 0. And that is going to give me 4x squared, because that cancel out, 4x squared minus 12x. And then I just want to move this. Mm. It was not a good move. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna just clean here. Okay, and then I'm going to factorize. So it's going to be uh, we can make it four x, and that is going to give me x minus three. So therefore. Okay, what is the question? Find the, find the x coordinate of point I. x is equal to going to be to 0. Or x is 3. Okay. Okay. And that is the final answer. Okay, let's do number 2. Just going to clean to make space. Okay. The volume of a spherical balloon is increasing at a constant rate of 50 centimeter per second. Okay, let's just quickly look at this one. I just want to... Okay. Number two. Uh, it's a spherical balloon and it's volume. Now, if you can recall, what is the volume of a sphere? And that's 4 over 3 pi r 3. Okay, that's a 50 per second. Now, let's just first, we, it's almost the same. We're first going to say dv over dr. Don't forget, it's, it's differentiating to r. So it's going to be that 4 over 3 multiply 3 over 1 multiply We'll get pi r squared, and that's 4 pi r squared. Okay, and then 
Don't forget, at a constant rate, I said dV over dt. Oh, I like to use that different color there. D, oh no, it's not going to work. Let's try to redo it. And I'm same color again. Okay, let's hope it's now going to dv over dt, and that is going to be 50. Okay. Now, they are asking, find the rate of increase of the radius when the, okay, so it's the radius. So actually, they want, and let's just write it down first, get my color again, dr over dt, that, that's what they want. Okay, now what am I sitting with? I'm, I'm sitting with, so dv over dt, okay, um, if I'm going to say, I take this dv over dt, okay, and I divide it by this dv over dr, I'm going to get dv over dt multiply dr over dv. Do you see? Because what happens now? Then it cancels. Okay, but I actually just divide by that. So just I just wanted to show you this step. So take dv over dt, which is 50, and I divide it by, okay, sorry, I want to check something, and I divide it by that 4 pi r square, okay, and then I'm saying, so it's actually just giving me 50 over 4 pi r squared. And then I say when, when r is 10, dr over dt will be 50 and it's 4 pi and then I will just have that square. And if I work out that, um, this becomes 100, 400, so it's 100 times 4, 400. And if I simplify, it's 1 over 8 pi. Pi is at the bottom. So 1 over 8 pi. So find the rate of increase when the radius is 10, and that will be my final answer.